guys, this is Tearless here with another Warlords of Draenor beta video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my introduction to healing specs in the game. Uh, basically, overall changes that are coming to heal the healing classes in Warlords of Draenor. This is done so that you are not confused when I get into a Resto Druid video or a Holy Paladin video as to changes that happened, you know, kind of to all healing specs as a whole. I don't want to go through it in each video. It'll take the videos forever. So I just wanted to kind of go over them in this intro video. The background you're going to be seeing is Skyreach, which is an, another amazing dungeon that Blizzard has created. It's Inspires of Iraq you're going to enjoy it a lot when you're able to play it for the first time. So I hope you enjoy the background as I talk about the changes to healing coming in Warlords of Draenor. So the first change to healing in Warlords of Draenor is, in one of the first videos I mentioned stat squish and how all of the stats have been squished down. What I may have not mentioned is the fact that healing and health pools, health pools have been doubled to compensate. Well, not to compensate, health pools have just been doubled for the strict purpose of healing. So, no longer, let's say you had, you know, a 500k lock, basically your health pool was doubled to 1 million, and then the stat squish occurred, or stat squish occurred, and then your health pool was doubled. The reason for this is that Blizzard and the developers did not like how bursty healing was. They didn't like it when someone went from 100% to zero in no time at all, and you had to, like, you know, or 1%, you had to race to get them back up to 100% and top them off. Well, that's been re removed from the game. They want to remove the play style of topping everyone off, making sure everyone's at 100%, 100% of the time, and you just have to sit there and make sure you do that. No, now you're actually going to have to actively look and make sure, you know, this person has less person that less health than this person. Well, this person is possibly in more danger because he's in a... You know, he's in a mechanic of the raid that, you know, is going to require more, more, I guess, more healing. Or, if you're in PvP, you know, this person has a little bit more health than this person, but this person's being focused, so I need to focus on him. It's not going to be just a, you know, I could just throw down, you know, my AoE heals and deal with it then. Healing is much more difficult in Warlords of Draenor. There are people kind of complaining about it. And that's because they're so used to just having the easy road and just putting down smart heals and efficiency heals and so forth and kind of face rolling their way through healing. You know, I know in arenas it wasn't as, as easy as that, but in your regular random BG or in, you know, your normal dungeons and your, and you probably say heroic dungeons in, in Mr. Pandaria, and your normal raids, it was it was pretty significantly easy in that regard so they've changed it so that you can no longer have that bursty feature and so when they doubled the health pools they did not proportionally double healing so whenever my raid members go down here or my sorry my party members go down here my healer has to work them back up they can't just burst them to 100 they have to work them back up gradually one by one and of course I'm always the focus because I'm the tank but the other healing specs, you know, they, it's not going to be easy getting them back up. You can't put down a smart heal and take, have it take care of everything for you. That's not going to be the case anymore. So definitely I think it's going to be a great, great change to both PvP and PvE to not have that ridiculous burst back and forth moment. And in PvE especially, healers are going to have so much more fun. I have seen healers constantly working in these matches and that's just because it's you actually have to work now it, it's it's fun and you know let's face it you don't want to go into a dungeon and sit there and just plop down a totem and have it do all the work for you and then sit there bored to death um, I did that I'm not necessarily Mr. Pandaria but in, in past Xbox I've done that like you just there's no work involved. So now it goes back to more of the Burning Crusade vanilla type of healing model in which you're really going to have to work for your healing and you're going to have to watch your mana bar and make sure that your mana does not run out. So, moving into the next changes for healers. Uh, the first change I want to talk about, well, not the first change, but the, the next change I want to talk about is smart heals. Smart heals have basically been removed from the game. Whenever you plop down a smart heal, such as... Uh, uh, I don't know, well, a healing totem is a very good one. A chain heal. Chain heal is a good example. Whenever you use a chain heal, always target at the lower end, 
characters and brought them up and so forth. Not anymore. It's just randomized. So you're not going to be able to sit there and just smart heal your way to victory anymore. And that's probably where a lot of the complaining has been coming from the noob healers, I guess you could say, in uh, Warlords of Draenor. It's... It's a lot more difficult now, you know. You're going to have to actually pay attention to who needs to be brought up. You can't just dish out smart heals everywhere. So that is a major change that has come to healing classes as a whole. And it's just something that you should be aware of um, that you're not going to notice necessarily in, in spec changes and so forth. But you will notice the first time you enter a dungeon for the first time or you enter PvP for the first time. The other change that has been happened is they've removed all of those, they've removed the whole three tier system, you know, you had your, your low heal, your medium heal, and your high heal, that's all been removed, and it's now basically been put into two categories, you have your efficiency heals, which are aimed at saving your mana bar, and then you have your throughput spills, which are aimed at saving your player at the sacrifice of your mana bar. Right now, everyone has two throughput spells, one AoE, one single target, for their entire for each class let's use druid as, as in, or we'll use shamans as an example your throughput spells are healing surge and chain heal so things get really dicey you start using those abilities uh efficiency are your spells that you use when things aren't quite as you know dangerous as you know you can kind of rest your mana bar a bit so for a shaman that would be healing wave riptide or healing rain you've got you know an aoe and a single target op option in both so it, it honestly it brings back a little bit more diversity between the classes. Uh, classes have not really had much diversity in a while in that regard because they had those that three tier set up and so that has now been removed from the game. So those are the major, I guess, changes as a whole to the healing class in Warlords of Vayner. There's only one other change that has happened to healing classes and that's they really cut down on instant casts in the game. Basically, no longer uh, are you going to be able to just run constantly and cast instant heals. Paladins got hit the hardest by this, and so their their instant casts have been, you know, really kind of gutted because it was ridiculous how they could just keep running and healing, running and healing. The only class that somewhat kind of kept their instant casts, they did lose one, but they still kind of kept their instant casts, is Druids, and that's because that's how they were originally built, was that way. So that's the last, you know, major change to healers in Warlords of Draenor. I think overall it's going to be a big improvement for both PvP and PvE. I hope you enjoyed the background of Skyreach. I mean, we just got eliminated there by the crazy boss with the chakrams going everywhere. But I hope you enjoyed the background, and I will see you guys in the next video for Warlords of Draenor. See you later. TLS out.